Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Let's Go Fishing Sim. Today we are heading to Lake Boulder, the pro invitational of Jenko Fishing. It's a 20 minute round, clear sky sunrise. I'm taking my Predator, 30 pound braid. We got the Rattle Trap Red Crawfish, 3.5 inch. And I'm gonna do the super deep rainbow special and I got a black plague buzz bait just to see what's going on but basically we're gonna stick to the setup unless it's going really terrible then we'll switch it up but this was working for me when I practiced so let's just start the event see what happens I do have some uh, other Lake Boulder videos guys so check out the channel check out uh, the link in the description There'll be some links to some other videos if you like that. So today we're gonna head to Bob's Marina and we're just gonna go north. There's this rock wall pretty close to the marina and uh, we're just gonna check it out there. Caught some um, Hi there, muskies and welcome there. To the next event on the tour. Caught some pike. Uh, caught salmon there before. And of course, there were bass there as well. Hopefully we'll catch something a bit different and hopefully we'll take the gold here. So let's just head out there as quick as we can. And then we're basically gonna be facing, look at all those fish in the fish finder right there. But anyway, basically we're gonna be facing the rock wall right here. So, I'm just going to position my boat kind of facing these reeds here, and then we're going to try this out. And we're going to fish right here by the dock. I got that crawfish rattle trap. Let's go. Now, as you can see, it's about 15 feet, so I'm going to bring this in at a 2 when I hit around the 10 foot line. The 10 foot mark, I mean. And then, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got George Shepard already ahead of us. And we got something. I was about to cancel the line there. And uh, I'm not sure what it is. Is it a trout? I'm not sure what that is, guys, right now. Looks longer than a bass, but it, it could be a bass. It's not fighting like a bass right now, so... We'll see. I think it is a bass. It's letting me be pretty aggressive with it. But, oh, don't want to lose it, so maybe I should just ease off there a bit. I think it's a. Is that it? Okay, I'm calling trout or salmon? Trout or salmon here, guys, so we'll see. Here it comes. And it's a trout. Wow, it's a big old uh, brown trout. Personal best. 15 pound brown trout. Nice, man. That's a good one. That's with the rattle trap. Red crawfish. Alright. That was pretty good. See some bubbles in the water. So we're going to do that again. Let this sink to about 10, 12 feet. And then start retrieving at a speed of two. That's what I did there before. Two, speed of two or three would probably work. I'm rocking two right now. Maybe I'll try a three in a bit. But anyway. 
Nice, nice uh, personal best route there. Awesome. And we just been kicked out of first place, but that's all right. Hopefully, we'll get uh, a pike or something a bit longer. And nothing. All right, let's do one more cast. I'm gonna go a bit to the left, and uh, I'll retrieve at a two, and then I'll recast and I'll retrieve at a three. See what happens. All right, foot deeper here, but still same technique. Sometimes, guys, also like around seven feet, you could start retrieving at a one. And then uh, that's not a bad way to go either, because I mean, and then when you hit the bottom, you could maybe go a little faster, or just keep it at a one. But you know, it, it is a tournament, so we want to just try to fish a little quicker here. We got 15 minutes to go almost, so don't want to waste that time. All right, I'm gonna do two more casts with this lure and then I'm gonna switch it up and again I'm just gonna go back to where I was originally and just do a little bit faster we'll wait around the 10 to 12 foot mark and start retrieving it at 3 the three and a half inch rattle trap is pretty heavy, so it sinks a lot quicker than the smaller rattle trap, so that's why I'm using that, because I know that I'm going to be in a bit deeper water. That's also why I got the crankbait that we're going to use in just a bit here. All right, nothing there, and here goes the last cast. I'm gonna go a bit wider there. And I'm gonna start retrieving right away with a one. It'll keep sinking though. And then when it gets close, a bit closer to the bottom, I'll go. I'll go to a two. Oh, didn't have to. Pretty good. All right. Let's see what we got here. Bet it's a bass. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it's a bass. All right, that counts as a predator, even though I was hoping for not just getting bass here. But we'll see. We'll uh, bring this guy in, though, to help us with our score, because we're falling pretty... We are falling behind. Nice little smallie. All right, let's switch up uh, the lure. We'll go with super deep. And this time, I'm going to start out roughly here and then make my way to the right of the lake with about four to five casts this one I like to go at a three and then you bring it down to a one just so that sinks really quickly there and then uh, we get a bit more time in the water You could also do a two all the way. It's pretty even that way. That works too. All right, we need two more fish to get ahead of the pack here. And then once I'm about 10 yards away, I, I do speed it up a bit. And we're in. And we're just gonna start going towards the rocks there. And this time I'll show you what I was talking about, guys. You can just start at a 2. And just leave it at a 2 the whole time. Caught a nice pike in this area doing this. 
earlier. Alright. Keep moving closer. And I wonder if uh, it would change it if I did my sunset instead of the, um, the one I have right now. So maybe we'll try that. Maybe we'll go back to the rattle trap that seemed to be working okay. Maybe we could tr try different rattle traps. There's a nice fish there swimming by the reeds. Not sure what it was. But I'll tell you what, we'll go just a bit over here. Shorten our cast, because I'm definitely gonna hit those rocks. Let's see if we can entice that little guy. Just go out of one. Oh, there you go. Got something. Interesting. I just happened to visually see that there was a fish there. That's why I switched my tactic there. Nice. This is a salmon for sure. Nice, nice salmon. bring you in. Nice. 10 pound, 25 inches. Not bad. Nice looking little salmon. You know what? Let's do it again. I see bubbles here, so let's just get closer to the rock. Hold on a second. I'm gonna re reset that. Let's see if I can get... What happens if I go 100? Will I hit the rock? No. Alright. Alright guys, let's get the, the top lure. Gonna hit up with the Black Plague. And uh, let me just... Try to get a bit more distance here. If I can hot, get a little closer to the rocks without hitting them, yeah. There you go. I'll try to go to a three this time. Nice. Boom. Small fish, but we just need to keep adding to our length. It's a, it's a bass. 
not that big, so I'm gonna try to be aggressive with it. And he's in. Alright, largemouth. 17 inches long. Let's do one more. We are doing pretty good. Pretty good. Still ahead of the pack. It's 79 inches. Oh, there's another salmon there. Come on, buddy. So some salmon here, some trout. Didn't catch any pike yet, guys. Hopefully we'll get one. But we only have five minutes to go, so who knows. There's a bass coming up. Oh no, that's the salmon. Alright, here. Let's see if we can get uh, that salmon with this guy. Oh no, George is just beating us by 20 inches or so. That's just no good. Nice. Alright, let's see what we got here. Come on. Need a nice fish here. Need a nice fish. Oh, it's just a bass. It's alright. As long as it adds to her length. not very big so I'm trying to be pretty aggressive with them. Oh, don't want to lose them though. Just because we only have four minutes left so. Nice. It's a good size. Only 12 inches long though. Let's go back to the rattle trap. We're back on the lead though, which is always good. Not sure how I could entice that salmon. Oh, that's weird. I don't know if you guys saw the lure on the left hand side there, but she was going kind of crazy. All right, three and a half minutes to go. Anything could happen here. We're on the lead, but we could lose this pretty easily. So, let's just see. Two more casts with this, and then I'll switch back out. No, actually, you know what? I'm gonna try the, the crankbait again. Just when this is done. All right, so. Crankbait one more time. Maybe I'll do the, the Black Plague again too, but around with this crankbait at a two. And we got something nice. Wonder if it's a bass again. Wouldn't mind another salmon. Oh no, we just got kicked out of first place. Oh, there we go. Long nose gar. Beautiful. As long as I don't lose him, he's gonna make us win this. We just got kicked out of first and second place. And boom, a beautiful, beautiful gar at 40 inches. That really puts us out of the competition. In the last minute and a half, 
gives us an edge that we definitely need. And then maybe, maybe we'll get another fish. But uh, hey, guys, if you're looking for some predators, I know there's pike here too. So you got your bass, salmon, trout, gar, and uh, some pike here. So it's not bad. It's, it's pretty varied. So good predator spot. And we got one last fish here. Looks like a bass. But uh, he's definitely bigger than the other ones I've caught. Let's test my line a bit. I don't know if I'll be able to bring them in, guys, before the 45 seconds is up, but I'll try. Come on, get in here. All right, perfect. Brought him in. Nice. He's big. He is pretty big. That's a trophy. Seven pounds. They're not very long though, right? So that's why I was trying to target not bass, but hey, they're all over this lake. Let's check it out. Looks like we won. Um, yeah, we got two trophies. Two smallmouth, one smallmouth, one largemouth. And then, yeah, other than that, we got a coho salmon, brown trout, long nose scar. I know there's pike here too, guys. And uh, muskies. I've caught both when I was here. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Thanks a lot for all the likes, all the new subscribers. Um, hopefully, if you come to Lake Boulder here to do a bit of predator fishing, you'll get some more variety other than bass. But as you can see, we still ended up catching quite a bit of bass, so... Uh, but yeah, anyway, th that puts us in first place, and uh, we're all happy about that. You guys are awesome. Thanks a lot. Uh, stay safe out there, and we'll see you for the next video. Take care.